Everybody likes a good joker. Today we're going to be talking about the top five on-screen jokers. That's up next. All right, everyone, welcome back. And like I said, today we're going to be talking about the top five on-screen jokers, or at least my top five on-screen jokers. Now, I know that there's been hundreds of different versions of the jokers, including the Amazing Animated Series. I want to discuss those in a future video. Today, I just want to focus on the live-action ones. And to me, it all started with Conrad Veidt. And if you don't know who he is, of course, he was in that very famous silent film. He was the one that it basically inspired uh, them to create the Joker, the look of the Joker, the feel of the Joker, uh, the creepiness of him, and that was all because of Conrad Veidt. Uh, he did not portray the Joker in that film, of course, um, so I'm not counting him on my list, but I do want to mention his name because, again, I look at him and I see the Joker right away. He is, again, what inspired the look of the Joker. So basically what I wanted to do today is I just wanted to do a top five list of who my Jokers are in the order that I have them. Uh, some of them I love, some of them I don't love so much, um, but I'm curious as to also what your order is going to be. Again, these are just my opinions. I, at the very end, I do want you to put your comments down below and, and list them uh, in the order that you would put them in. But basically what I want to do is I want to go five to number one, and I am going to start with number five, and that is Cesar Romero. Now, of course, when I was a kid, uh, I started really getting into Batman around 89, which a lot of uh, people my age did, but at the same time that they were doing a lot of reruns. Now, that's when I first really discovered Cesar Romero, uh, an absolutely amazing, fun time on that show. Uh, it was campy. It wasn't to be taken serious at all. Of course, the big thing is he had that mustache, which he painted over, uh, which kind of looked ridiculous in my mind. It's still does um, but it was still the Joker and I had loved the Joker since I was a kid when I first saw him on Scooby-Doo uh, I remember seeing uh, just the the image of him and loving the purples and greens and so when Cesar Romero was a live action version of that I was really interested in it and I got me hooked um, and so for a long time I did really appreciate Cesar Romero I still do uh, but he is definitely my number five because, again, just so campy. Uh, again, the mustache, uh, it was not meant to be serious. Um, and there's just been so many better, darker versions since then. But for the 60s, man, what a great version of him. And so that's why I ranked him number five. Uh, my number four is going to be the, the latest sort of Joker. And that, of course, is Jared Leto. A lot of people hate him as the Joker. I did not hate him. I don't love him as, a, as the Joker. Um, there were elements that's not very Joker-like to me. I didn't like the tattoos. I didn't like the grill. Um, I didn't like that he was kind of like a mob boss pimp type character. That, that's not who the Joker usually is. The Joker is just an agent of chaos. Um, and so I liked elements of his character. I did enjoy Suicide Squad. I did enjoy watching pieces of it. I think I would have liked him a lot more had we seen a lot more. I know they filmed a ton more of him uh, and Margot Robbie for that for that matter, but I, I would have liked to have seen more. And I think maybe if we had, we might have liked the character a little bit or maybe seen him uh, you know evolve over the next few films. Uh, there's rumors that he might be in Birds of Prey a little bit. Um, and so I'm anxious for that, uh, but who knows exactly if that's what we're going to get or not. But uh, that is why he is number four. Uh, he would have maybe been number five, but I did appreciate, again, the, the dark elements of him. I thought that there were parts that were really good, but again, just not my favorite, but again, not that awful either. Um, I'm surprised by no my number three, because uh, I thought he would be higher. Um, but my number three is Jack Nicholson. Uh, Jack Nicholson was one of my childhood heroes because he played the Joker. In 1989, I saw that movie in the theater. I turned 13 years old, and I saw it 13 times that summer. Um, I was mesmerized by his performance, the eeriness, the darkness, um, the quirkiness of the character. Now, there was a lot of evil there, but there was also lighter tones as well. Uh, he was not that strong of a Joker, uh, you know, other than his gun that he has, his long gun. There was not a lot to him. Um, he had some props and things like that, but um, 
at the time, I was just, there was nothing that was ever going to top him. There was never going to be another Joker that could do a better job than he did. Um, but I, it proved to be wrong through history, and I was really surprised by that. Now, again, when I my 13-year-old self, I would have, again, picked this number one. Um, but that is why he is number three. Still a great portrayal. I absolutely love it. Um, for a long time, Batman 89 was one of my favorite films. I think Batman Returns has, has edged that out as I'm an adult, uh, just because it's darker. But you cannot deny the incredible job that Jack Nicholson did. Um, it, it brought the character alive like it had never been before, which I really appreciate. It wasn't campy like anymore. It wasn't lighter in tone. It was dark and gritty, and I really appreciated that. So that is why Jack Nicholson and his Joker is number three. Number two on my list is going to be Cameron Monaghan. Now, Cameron, if you don't know him, he has played Jerome, and he has played Jeremiah uh, on the Gotham TV series. Um, I'll never forget the very first scene that I saw with him where he was getting interrogated, and he, you know, was this kind of this whimpery kid, and then all of a sudden he turned it on, and I, I, I got instant goosebumps. I literally had tears in my eyes because of the portrayal he did. I'm like, oh my God, it's like a mixture of Jack Nicholson. It's a mixture of Heath Ledger. It's a mixture of all these elements. Mark Hamill, just brilliant portrayal. And because of that, it was just going to be a throwaway character, I think. But because of that, they extended his character. They 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 basically wrote all this stuff for him, which was in, insane to me. Um, and his portrayals kept getting better. Um, I especially liked him as uh, Jerome. I thought Jerome was a better character than Jeremiah. Of course, Jeremiah is his twin, uh, if you watch the show. But his portrayal, he, he portrays so many different parts of the Joker and so many different storylines of the Joker, where he gets his face cut off and just all different things that we've seen in the comic books. And I think that he did a fantastic job. Uh, as of the recording this week uh, is the final episode of Gotham where we jump forward I think 10 or 15 years and he's older I haven't seen that episode yet so by the time this airs maybe I have but I'm really excited for that final portrayal because again from from start to finish I think he has done a fantastic job and I feel like he has brought the character further along than even Nicholson did. Um, I just am really impressed. I love the the role he's done. I wish we could see more. I wish, I'm, I'm sad that Gotham is ending, but I think that he has just a, done a phenomenal job. And if you haven't checked out Gotham, it's worth it just to see his scenes because again, he's just done a really good job. And that of course now leads us to number one and to nobody's surprise, of course, it is Heath Ledger. If you watch this channel, you know that I'm a massive Heath Ledger fan, especially when it comes to the Joker. Um, but it wasn't always that way. Whenever they first announced that Heath Ledger was going to portray the Joker, um, I was pretty surprised. I had really liked him in some of the, you know, the teeny bopper type movies. Um, I really liked him in Knight's Tale, um, the, the Patriot. I, I, there were a lot of movies that I really thought he was, was good in, but I thought he was just kind of like a teenager type actor. Um, I didn't really think anything of it. Um, but when I, whenever that first trailer hit, um, I probably watched that trailer well over a hundred times. Um, it impacted me like no other. Um, I was blown away and I was so intrigued. I got really involved in the online game that they were doing and to promote the film. Um, I got, I just got kind of obsessed with the character and what he was, what he was going to be and what he was going to become. And then I saw the movie, and I saw it in IMAX, I saw it in Denver, Colorado, um, and I've never been the same since. Um, it is my favorite movie performance, it is my favorite villain of all time, it is my favorite movie character, just period. Walking out of that movie, I, I've never been kind of in such so much shock, like I felt like I was in another place almost um, after watching The Dark Knight, and it was because of his performance. Um, and then also knowing that he had died, um, you know, made it that much more special. Um, that every single moment, every single scene was special. And I think a lot of you out there felt the same way. Um, he, I just cannot describe how much I, I love this character. Um, Joker, again, has always been my favorite character. And to see him portrayed in this way um, was different. It was very realistic. It was very gritty. But it was exactly what I want, um, and 
it's going to be very, very difficult to ever top that. Um, I was wondering if it'd be topped when Jared Leto took the screen. A lot of people were questioning that because Jared Leto's a great actor. Um, but I don't feel like anything will ever touch Heath Ledger's performance. Um, the mystique around that performance. Um, and I just, I cannot say how much, again, how much I love that performance from him. I, you know, even named my son Ledger um, because of how much I love that character and that performance. Um, it means the world to me. It means the world to me that I can go and watch that scene, those scenes. Um, I think my favorite scene in the entire movie is the interrogation scene. Um, I love it. I've watched it, you know, probably thousands of times, uh, just over and over again. I love it. Um, just I love the performance. And so without a shadow of a doubt, he is number one. Um, now, if you've seen my trailer reaction, uh, you saw that there's a new Joker movie coming up with Joaquin Phoenix. Um, it's been a long time since I've got goosebumps from a trailer. And if you watch that trailer reaction, you know that I did. And so there's parts of me that are, are wondering, okay, is this going to top Heath Ledger? Is it going to be better? I think it's going to be very different. I think it's going to be a very different serial killery type movie. Um, and I think it's going to be dark, gritty, like we've never seen before. Um, and so I think I'm going to like it. I think I'm really going to enjoy it. Um, that noir style grittiness. But it's going to, it's going to take a lot to dismantle Heath Ledger. Um, so we'll, I'll have to do another one of these videos, I guess, after that movie comes out. Uh, it's definitely, I want to mention him because I think that he is probably going to win an Oscar. It just feels that way to me just from the trailer. Um, and so I'm really excited to see where they, where they go with that character. So again, that could be definitely changing my list here uh, you know, in the future. But just to recap, number five, Cesar Romero. Number four, Jared Leto. Number three, Jack Nicholson. Number two, Cameron Monaghan. And number one, Heath Ledger. Those are my top five. I would love to hear your top five in the comments down below. Um, just so many great performances. Um, let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you think I'm really off on some of my picks. Um, again, there hasn't been a ton of live action um, jokers out there. There's, there's been some like commercials and some other things that I could mention, but these are the ones that are real um, on screen, you know, legit movies. Um, I know that there's a lot of really, I, want, I do want to mention one other joker um, real quick. Uh, Aaron Shunky does an amazing joker over at Bat in the Sun. I want to give him a prop also. Um, he does amazing work, uh, so you know, he could definitely be on my list as well. I, I just remembered uh, the amazing joker that he does. So again, there's been a lot of great on-screen characters. Um, but uh, again, these are my top five um, from the movies that I love and the TV shows that I love. So I just wanted to share those with you. Uh, if you enjoy this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up. That lets me know that you'd like to see more. Uh, I've thought about doing other, um, other categories in this type of line where we're on top five type things. So we'll kind of see how it goes, but I would love to hear your thoughts. And I love going back and reading all of those. So again, if you enjoy it, give it a thumbs up. And I can't thank you enough for watching. Uh, as always, guys, thank you. Um, and like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave.